welcome back to another video on Gearsaw Studios, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a military headquarters. Because, you know, sometimes you want some military stuff in your world, you might as well start off with the headquarters. However, before I begin, remember, please like and subscribe, and without further ado, on to the tutorial. First off, we need our pallet. We're going to be using a lot of grey blocks, and just stuff that's not too colorful. We're going to be using polished andesite, iron trap doors and bars, gray and light gray concrete, all of these will be used for the walls and detailing, then dark prismarine for the floors because you can't have, you know, fancy birch floors in here, you know, a lot of heavy machinery going around, and then frog lights for the lighting because it's yellow, it ain't the prettiest. Then for the exterior, Mainly, if you're in a desert, you want to be using variants of dirt scattered with dead bushes on them. Although, there should not be dead bushes on every single block, still add a significant number. Then, find a nice flat area. Deserts work pretty well for this, considering recent history, and also, it just sticks out. Versus, you know, green tanks kind of blending in a little into the terrain. So, find a desert if you can, although it's optional. Now, with your flat area, you want to start by marking what building is going to be what. Because headquarters are a conglomerate of buildings, rather than just one giant one. Although you can still do that and connect all of them with some pathways, which honestly would look pretty cool. Still, mark out each building. And a slight amendment to the palette, Cyan Terracotta is a must-have. The first layer of each wall will usually be Cyan Terracotta, which means you can start placing blocks. Make sure stuff is symmetrical most of the time. You know, don't make it one block off-center, but if it's several blocks off-center, it looks a little bit more unique rather than just boxes. So, I'd keep it that way. Make some unique shapes, and then possibly put down some signs of what each building is going to be what because you know watchtower logistics tank storage i'm not making a separate tank tutorial i'm not very good at building them you know such and such we got a basic frame going on for this place and when you're designing each individual section i made this little book that you can see all the things you might want to include I'd recommend having a small jail, logistics center, watchtower, some storage, along with a place to have tanks, trucks, cars, etc. And I accidentally put storage twice in order to make it seem like I had better ideas. And then, optional, we have, of course, a fence going around the place with perhaps a checkpoint so that way there's a way to get in that's not just a simple gate. A training area, which could just be some dumbbells or something that looks like monkey bars and then we have a helipad and i recommend doing the helipad but otherwise you don't really need a training area then looking around we just want to continue our structure and then we want to have a lot of iron bars going around mark the area you want the bars to go in with gray concrete and then stack three up and then put on top more gray concrete if you want to have functional ones you could add more gray concrete to the top to cover some grass hold on getting some of the blocks you need you can make some real barbed wire here however of course it doesn't really th fit thematically still once those grow up they will function like barbed wire and are much better than spider webs, which just slow down the user. Just do the fence, a little bit of towers on the end, although you don't need those, and then finish the basic area where you want your military base to go. Once you have the fencing around, then on one side of the fence, you want to make a small building. Maybe with an interior space of 3x3 three three at minimum, but it should still be small. Our general building technique for this will be including cyan terracotta as the trim, like this, and then 
for our fancy outlines, we'll be using gray concrete. And the rest of the wall will be light gray. A flat roof will do fine, although you could probably add a little bit more detail using gray concrete. We got a nice checkpoint here, which means, you know, we can have a guard preventing just anyone from getting inside. Although it's a very simple building, still, it's, it's small, you can only do so much. However, you can include a keyboard by having some armor stands with chainmail helmets embedded in blocks, which you can place on top of them using pistons. You could use a polished blackstone button as a mouse. And then I recommend using these specific three paintings because their origin, if you look at how each painting was created, all three of these are actually from Counter-Strike, which I'm pretty sure is a first person shooter. And you know, that fits the military vibe. Now, we want to have some dirt or gravel cobblestone tuff. I've made a video about paths before, going down the middle into this garage area, which we can store some cars or some trucks in. Although I'd recommend having a variety, still, tanks are kind of cool. We have ourselves a nice dirt path, and you might want to have the same design just lining the entire building you know as if the building itself for some reason is killing everything nearby but anyways you want to start working on the walls each room should be about six blocks tall and you know that's pretty simple you stack up six blocks and then using our little checkpoint here as reference we should use gray concrete as an outline for the walls Kind of like this. Of course, going above, you might even want to chop off the corners on certain parts and just replace the unseen corner block. You know, just do all the things you think will look good. But mainly just get the concrete walls in. The fancy dirt stuff is more or less complete. I missed a section with the rooted dirt, but otherwise, that's going good and took way longer than I'm willing to admit. And I'm going to admit it took probably like 30 minutes, but anyways. We have some of the walls here on the main base. And, well, it's nothing too spectacular yet. But we can see how it's going to generally look. There's going to be a second floor here, so we want to cover the final layer before it turns back to Cyan Terracotta. I have not fully completed that, though. Then... For some of the areas, you might want to make a slant, even though there's no concrete stairs, still, you can do quite a bit. And make sure these parts are double thick if you have a nice flat area that isn't to some sort of logistics office, because we can use iron trap doors in order to give, you know, more depth. Otherwise, dark prismarine floors, make sure there's some doors, iron doors preferably, and if something does not line up and you're too lazy to fix it, emergency exit solves your problems and, you know, it's just an extra feature of the build. Now, I've added more of the gray framing using the same design. And you can see, when you smoothen out the corners with some gray concrete, it looks pretty good. Although not every part is complete because I'm all scatterbrained when it comes to putting in the details. Still. It's starting to look like a structure, and if we add a helipad to it, and then later a watchtower, this will become an instantly recognizable military complex. However, for your vehicle bay, or storage bay, either one, or really just any building that has a taller than normal ceiling, replace the ceiling with iron bars, and it should be separated down the middle, because it kind of gives that metal barbed look, and Although I'm not entirely sure of its true purpose, it looks cool, so I'd say add it if you have the proper iron supply. Which I'd assume you'd have if you're playing in survival because the amount of concrete required for this build. Then, of course, I've already said this, dark prismarine flooring. But for vehicle bays, you might want to go for something like deep sight tiles. Our room's nice and ready for the build. What we want to do is add some lighting. You can see it gets pretty dark. I've also separated these fours here. 
but otherwise, it's kind of dark. Lighting is pretty simple for this. If you're able to get this much concrete, I doubt a stack of frog lights would put too much of a dent in your supplies. Just place down a frog light facing vertically on the ceiling, surround it inside terracotta, space them maybe like every three blocks or so, and that's all you need to do. This room is sufficiently lit, and you need to do that for the rest of the rooms. Don't forget, if you're trying to copy me one for one, of course I don't recommend that, but don't forget about this prison area over here. Soon, we'll build a staircase over here, one will go up to this floor, which will be logistics, and one will go down into a tunnel into the prison. Now, it's time to do each of these individual buildings' main thing. Also, if you want to, here's how to build a helipad, no helicopter included. Mainly because I don't know how to build one, and I'm starting to, you know, deadlines. For this place, just build an armored vehicle or a couple of them. I've already built a tank, I'm just going to copy paste it into there. Possibly a couple of them currently leaving if the gate is currently open. Then, a storage room. Just some oak planks, spruce slabs on top of those, or various combinations. Combined with some green boxes, well just green concrete with polished blackstone slabs on top to look like ammo crates. Then, the barracks. Pretty simple, you just have beds stacked on beds. Just make a couple of bunk beds, maybe some armor stands. If you're having trouble, look up reference images. And then for the top area, whatever you did over here should suffice, whatever computer you had. Also, maybe even a table with a map on it would be good. Don't forget to include windows. Tinted glass looks like bulletproof glass in my eyes, so perhaps use it. And that's about it. Once you add your interior things, the build suddenly becomes a lot more advanced. You have some tanks rolling out, some storage. This could be interpreted as tank shells. Then we got some boxes, gasoline canisters. We have a storage room, more of just that, except as ammo crates. The barracks themselves, utilitarian beds, you know basic things, nothing too cool, no flower pots either. We got some logistics, which means more books, more computers, and a war table, which leaves us only two things left to do. We need to, one, build a watchtower, which I'm not going to focus too much on. Just go up maybe like two floors, using the same design we have going on here. The corners are intentionally shaped like this to make a better gray concrete design. Once you go up two floors, add a spiral staircase in the middle, then we work on it. And for the prison, the staircase design we have right here, repeat it, except it goes down this time, and head into the prison. Of course, filling in everything as needed. The prison is now complete, going into a small claustrophobic hallway, into the actual cell block. Only three cells, but the important thing is, your prison, if not completely above ground, should have little bars peeking through like this. Because it just looks kind of cool, you know. Imagine you're stuck in here because you accidentally used a flamethrower. You know, definite things I always do. And, you know, you get to see the light of day. Barely. It's a little dark, but still. Now, all you need to do is build the watchtower, which I already provided instructions how to do. Two floors, spiral staircase, and then the top, I will show you. Now, we have part of a watchtower. It's literally just a tower with a window on it. Really nothing else to say. And now, what we want to do is make kind of like a cube on top. It doesn't need to be a perfect cube. Or, you can segment the windows like this. By having the segmented windows, of course, you still provide visibility while doing it in style and making it look more armored. Kind of like an air control tower if you get what I'm saying. Do that, and then round off the top kind of like we have for the checkpoint, and then you will have a finished watchtower, excluding lights, which you should add. Now, we have eight windows on top, 
I also thinned out the sides because it looked a little too bulky, too square. And now, we have a watchtower. It's not necessarily the coolest thing, but still, compared to the rest of the build, the entire thing's kinda drab, and that's completely intentional. Do you really expect a military base to be all bright and colorful like the city? Not really. It's part of war, you know, war isn't necessarily the most peaceful thing. So, I'd say it works really well here. Otherwise, this build is complete. We got a checkpoint, fences, dirt that takes way too long to build, along with all the things an actual base needs, storage, you know, weapons, logistics, barracks, temporary prison, it's all you need, even a little helipad in the back. Although it's very basic, still, improve upon some smaller things like that, and now you have a really good military base. And with that, it's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video, remember, please like and subscribe, it really helps me out. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day, make sure not to declare war on everyone, it's a bad idea. Gearsaw, out.